Hey, it's Time Again from Cracked Rabbit Gaming, and I'm going to show you how to get a relatively easy diamond medal in the skill game Trials Wars, which is part of the 66 DLC for Trials Rising, and this will also get you an achievement called Way Too Shiny. I did this with the Helium Bike, and that's what I'm going to show you. This will also work with the Mantis if you're more comfortable, but the exact amounts you have to accelerate and position yourself may be slightly different. So I recommend watching a replay of someone using the Mantis if that's what you're going to use. But I thought the Helium was easier. There are five machines you have to pass, and they just repeat. You have to pass 13 of them, which means you only have to do the fourth and fifth machine two times, which is good because those are the hardest ones. Watch the bottom left corner of the screen and you can see exactly when I'm pressing the gas and the brake and which way I'm moving. This first obstacle doesn't start moving until you touch the ramp. So if you bounce a little bit at the beginning or do a wheelie, that's fine because that means you can get a little bit higher up on it before it starts to move. So we're just gonna accelerate a little bit so we drop down and kind of bounce a little bit and then as we go up the ramp we're gonna tap the brake so we don't go we don't get much air so we're gonna break here lean forward and you should be able to clear it the big problem is having it push you backwards so you definitely don't want that to happen and then we're just gonna accelerate as fast as we can and you can lean forward to cross the finish line kind of like dive forward if you want to save a split second i didn't do that at all and i still made it so lean forward and hold accelerate right as this starts so you have as much time accelerating as possible you want to land with your back wheel to get some grip immediately and when you can and then just kind of coast up onto the next edge so you don't want to get too much air there and try to get your back wheel down again so you can get some grip and get some acceleration. You can do a front flip here if you need a little bit extra distance, but you just want to make sure you land a little bit down this ramp. I was a little high up, but I was okay. Immediately hold forward and accelerate this whole time. This is the easiest obstacle in my opinion. You shouldn't have any problems with this one. So you're just gonna go straight up this ramp and do a backflip as this hammer is coming down and you're gonna land and it's gonna go up and then you can do a little bit of a bunny hop to try to get off of there quickly and get some, get that spring motion forward. If you land on the top, just try to get your back wheel down so you can get some acceleration on there. If you land on the back part of it where it's the ramp, that might be even better because you can kind of push yourself off. Again, accelerate as quickly as you can right away, leaning forward. But then we're going to let go of the gas here and we're going to coast up it. And if you have to, tap the brake and lean forward because you have to get down so you don't get chopped by that blade. You see I barely duck under it, but that's just how you have to do it because you can't waste any time. You can't wait for it. You have to just go. And then as soon as you can get grip, just accelerate, go down the ramp if you can. I kind of jumped over it and it was fine. And just get out of there. This is one of the hardest ones. This next one, you want to make sure you're accelerating right as it loads and just fall straight onto it, then accelerate almost all the way up, but let go at the very end. In this case, I kind of bounced up, so I didn't have traction anyway. I do a front flip. It's hard because you can't see where you're gonna land yet, as you can see from the camera angle, and then you can see where it is. So if you have practiced this and you're not getting enough distance, you might wanna do a front flip. You don't have to if you're landing on the ramp, but you wanna be able to land on that second ramp going down so you can get the speed. We're going to continue in real time, so we're going to bounce, go up this ramp, land on the back. I was a little bit high there. Full speed, get your back wheel on first edge, second edge, jump off, nice landing there. Full speed, back flip, bunny hop forward, get some traction there. Full speed up, then coast or brake and just get over it, land on it, hop up. I do the front flip, so I land some speed, and we just repeat this.
This is the 13th obstacle, so we just have to get through this one and then a little bit farther into the next one. You'll see a banner on the ground that says America. You just have to get just past that to get to 525 meters. I got to 530, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's quite a bit extra when everything is so close. So I hope that helped. It only took me maybe 20 minutes to get this once I learned the proper strategies and how to save time.